Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Exit Tattle, and in this video I want to share with you my farming route inside the barrows. I did something similar in the past, but it was part of my farming route. This time I want to focus on the barrows, mainly because this location is really good and underutilized a lot. I rarely see anyone going there. And one of the reasons can be that this location is quite confusing. But I have it covered for you guys, don't worry. And in order to be able to show you what kind of loot you can expect, I am on my nuclear winter character with almost empty inventory. Have my weapon, I have my armor, I have one bear mentats to use to help you see the enemies. Uh, miscellaneous doesn't matter, under notes I have nothing. Under junk, I have nothing. Under mods, I have nothing. And under ammo, I have just 1k.45. Then let's dive in. Oh, and just in case, if you want to see my build, I will give you like five seconds here. I just pause it if you want to see the details, but it's generally a nuclear winter build. Then this is just quickly put together a commando version for adventure. And I forgot to show you where we start. We start from the barrows south. That's where you should start the run. At least for me, it's much easier from this side than from the north side. Go for the south. All right, we can go. And first person is actually better in here. We run over there and I will just kill enemies. I will loot them later out of the recording to speed up the process a little bit. And here you go, kill some enemies that are running towards you. And we'll go back for more. And important, turn to the left. Like we're running straight. We're running straight. Oh, couple more ghouls wake up. What I notice as well, uh, those ghouls are much more lazy than in the past. If you try to make a lot of noise and attract them all, it doesn't work as well. Okay, turn left. And to kill you this spot, first go in here. There's like four to five ghouls, I think. Not 100% sure. Uh, all right. And here you have nice path for another bunch of ghouls. Sometimes they run towards you, sometimes they're not. Okay. Yeah, you see, some of them are really lazy. They, they just do not move. Oh, I forgot to pop this bear mentats. It will be easier. Okay, now we go back through this back to the, through this path. Go over here, cross the pond. We already killed couple. There should be more. Now we run down, and I can hear them. Yeah, they waking up. They usually wake up if you sprint close by, but they totally ignore you if you just kill them a couple meters away. Okay, and we run down in here. It's a very nice path. You will be able to easily pick up all those ghouls, a lot of experience, and there is a lot of loot in here almost everywhere, but I will not go over specific where the loot is, but you have a lot of steel, a lot of lead, a lot of other stuff. I will show you everything at the end. Now we continue. Do we get all of them? Yeah, there is one struggling. Yeah, they sometimes hiding underground and they get out after you clear a couple. You see, I don't know where they coming from sometimes. They just hiding underground. You need to look around to get them all. And here we go to the right. It's a very straightforward path and you will be able to kill like at least 90% or more than 90% of ghouls that lives in barrows. What's well, really good. Oh, and when you are going in here, don't forget to turn to the right. There is three more ghouls in here. One. Two. And third down there. Now we have everything from this side. You can run through this pipe. Go in. And if you already have key, then that's good. You should have, if you did the quest in Barrows. Uh, one behind me. Open this gate. 
Oh, suddenly I'm in danger. Uh, I don't know who spotted me. They're not going after me. You run in here and you have couple ghouls in this spot. Yeah, I'm in danger and I go for headshots. Should be like at least four straight in there. Yeah. Any more? I usually don't go deeper. There is a couple more, but it's a lot of time. I just take those straight behind the gate and continue in here. And here is a lot of ghouls and a lot of loot. A lot of can chimps and other stuff, even ways you can find in here. Rat poison. All of the good stuff. A lot of camps, by the way, too. There's one upstairs, sometimes two. Depends if they decide to go down or not. Yeah, there's one on the other side. And get them from in here. And we go back, the main corridor. Don't get confused. We went from this side and we are going here. The throne chamber. There's three guards, always three guards in this. If you do not have the key, the key is in here. It's not, not hard to find. And then we turn to the right. Get this ghoul, get this turret. Check here, don't forget. As you can just get free countries, I will actually show you because not everyone is picking them up. Then we are not going any deeper at this moment. We are going back. Oh, and we see couple ghouls that went down on the stairs. That's really nice. When they do so, you don't need to go there and chase them. Then we are going this way. As you can see, there's even more countries. There's some paints and some other stuff. I will loot it later. But as well, there's couple ghouls. That is our point of interest because it's a lot of experience. Less than for super mutants, but you have much more ghouls than super mutants in West Tech in here. Then there is something. Okay, and it's why we started at south, because from this side we can enter market easily. Just remove the chain, open, we are in the market. We have a couple more ghouls. That's the point of this right is to get all the ghouls down. And more of those. And from here we are going to the right. This room is the room that I usually test as stealth abilities of different armor pieces. There are two turrets. Shoot those turrets, this one. And there's a second one. After killing the second one, continue straight and move in here to the right. As you can see, we'll find a couple more ghouls. Get them and a lot of loot and almost everywhere there is so much loot. Another one. If you'll be here first time, just check every single corner and see how much loot is in here. Right? Now we go back. We go back. We are back where the turret is. And we are going in there. And look at that. More ghouls. <laughs> more ghouls, more loot. It's a, it's a team of this place. One sometimes walking down here. Oh, I already killed him. Another one. I wasn't even counting, but there is a lot of ghouls. Last time I think I was counting. This time I'm not gonna count. You can count them if you want. Oh, at legendaries. Uh, legendaries are very popular in this place and I feel like there is more legendaries after the latest patch than usually was in here. And now after killing after killing this legendary, we are turning right over there. There will be even more ghouls. We go straight. And you see, more ghouls. And it's important to get most of them because of those legendaries. There is good chance that some of them will spawn. I have only one free star in this run, but usually I can find two or three, at least after the last patch. Still in caution, that means that there is something that was just a rat. 
then I think at this point we are done. We are back and this is everything. Yep. We are done. We finish at north side. This is exit from the north side. Then we enter from the south and we finish in here at the north. And now I will grab all the loot and I will show you exactly what you can grab from barrels. Okay, and I'm done with looting. Let's see what I got. Oh, it's worth to mention I don't have pick lock, therefore I wasn't able to access everything. A lot of places unlooted, like this one for example. You see, you need a pick lock to get in and loot it. And there is more than this one spot and more containers. Then I were not able to loot it. But anyway, uh, let's see. Those are the weapons, including drill. Uh, it can be slightly random. All the stuff that you will get compared for uh, compared with what I got can be slightly random. But weapons like lower action rifle, ten mil submachine gun, I think those are guarantee, including like a combat rifle, ten mil pistol, and more weapons that were locked into the weapon cabinet I couldn't access. Then those seems to be guarantee. Under apparel you can find baseball cap, black rim glasses, blue bandana, fisherman's hat if you want to be a fisherman and wool fisherman's cap and that's the legendary that i dropped you're able to see unfortunately the ghoul was under leveled i don't know why i'm not a low level here i'm level 89 and it's still spawning me slightly under leveled ghouls then it's looked like you need to be level 100 to spawn max level ghouls probably and under eight you were able to see i had nothing now i have beer blackwater brew Blood packs, a lot of boiled water, bourbon, uh, some fungus. I didn't pick up all the fungus, there is more. Bubble gums, buff out, canned coffee, cram, dirty water, this is cure, glowing fungus, glowing meat, grape, mentads, grit, ladroach, gut shrooms, medex, melon, mentads, moldy food, mute fruit, three new cacolas, that's good. Oak hole, lager, old possum, pepper, pickaxe, pilsner, psycho, psycho buff. Purified water. It should be more camps, by the way. I had only one camp dealer ghoul, and usually there is a couple of them, but most likely because they were slightly underleveled. Uh, some red excess, red aways, some more meat, and some more food, including salt and spices. Stealth boy, I found stealth boy in here as well. Steam pack, steam pack super, sugar, sugar bumps, and important, those sugar bumps are the one for the crafting recipes with one rat then those, the, those are the ones you want. If you have ones without rats, then you don't want them. Uh, even Tarberry, Whiskey, Wine, Excel. Now, I found some notes and one recipe. And it can be more. I, I'm not really good in looking for recipe and notes and maybe some bubblehead and magazines, but yeah, I'm blind for this stuff. It's always hidden. And if I do not put a detector card, then I cannot find it. And scrap. We have decent amount of aluminum, some circuits, 21 concrete, that's not bad. We have free cooking oil, that's, I think it's the best place for cooking oil if you ever need it. As I'm not sure if there is other place when you can find free of the cooking oil. We have copper scrap, even some cork for brotherhood. I don't know if I will give this cork to them though. A lot of adhesive and plenty of glass shards, but more importantly, 183 lead. That's what everyone is looking for, and it's actually here in Barrows. Uh, loose gears, 17 loose screws, that's decent amount. Some loose springs, 26, that's not bad either. 85 plastic, some nuclear, raw asbestos, raw cloth, leather, rubber, silver, 440 steel, and I didn't scrap any weapons, then that's good. It's still better to kill guys with weapons and scrap the weapons, but in this in this place you have lead and or other goodies. 72 West Oil. That's a lot for one location. Then I found one mod for baseball bat and quite a lot of ammo. As you can see, I started with 1K45 and I ended with 994.45, which means that I like spent no ammo, six bullets to run the barrels then. It's free and I earn all of that ammo. A lot of 10 mil. Ammo will be randomized then you can have totally different ammo, but 
you can have some idea what kind of quantity you can expect ammo wise then definitely you will have a surplus in ammo after running barrels and that's it everyone we have barrels analyzed let me know if you like this farming route and this guide for the barrels although i need to let you know that i will be less active in chat because in the time you are watching this video i'm on holiday relaxing a little bit and now as always Thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.